Mike here from Gizom bringing you another makeup video. So this time we're going to do a Walking Dead inspired zombie makeup. So let's get into it. So here's a good look at the pre-painting I did on these uh, foam latex prosthetics. If you want to find where I bought these from, I'll, I'll leave the link in the um, description of the video so you can check it out there. So here I am starting out with applying the rip throat prosthetic, going over the back of the prosthetic and my neck with some prosate adhesive, using a hairdryer to, to get the adhesive sticky, and then laying down the foam latex prosthetic. You want to work your way from the middle out to the edges. So right now I'm going in and uh, laying down the edges. After I got the neck piece laid down, I went in and started putting a piece around my mouth for this zombie mouth prosthetic. So it might take a few, a few attempts to get the placement right. So you want this to be able to open and close with your mouth and also not show your lips when you're moving your mouth. So here I am again, working my way from the middle out through the edges, applying adhesive as needed. Powdering if it gets too sticky, because pros adhesive can get pretty sticky. So if you lay down a thin little layer of translucent powder, you can take away the, the tackiness of it. Now I have the, uh, the neck piece laid down and the zombie mouth piece laid down. I'm going to move on to the zombie brow prosthetic. So here I am again laying down a coating of Pro's 8 adhesive. And again working from the middle out to the edges. So I have the middle pretty much laid down. I'm working my way out the edges of the uh, prosthetic. Yep, just working my way around the eyes, adding some to the back of the prosthetic. And then now I'm going around the edge of the foam latex. The good thing about foam latex is that it's, it's pretty spongy, so with prosthetics like this with a really thin edge, you can just go over the edges with um, Prose and it'll soak through and stick down the edges. So now I'm going in and filling in the little gap I have between my mouth prosthetic and the, the zombie cheek and brow prosthetic. That's just with a little bit of cotton and latex. Again, I'm adding some other exterior wounds, just trying to bring this whole look together. Now I'm going and adding some tissue paper to give a little rotten look on the on the mouth there. Doesn't look like much now, but once you get some paint on it, you'll really see the, the detail of that pop out. Now I'm going and going over these wounds with some liquid latex. So now I'm going in and adding some paint off the prosthetic onto the skin. Just 
paint job started out way too light, so you'll see as the video goes along, I, I darkened it up a lot. I thought this lighter tone would look good, but it was way too light, so throughout this video, you'll see it getting darker and darker and darker. Again, I'm just putting a first layer of paint down, seeing how it looks. Right now I'm using a pretty simple PAX paint, which for this case is just simple acrylic paint mixed with prose adhesive. Here we go, just adding more and more color to the, the paint job here. Just building up the skin tone. Like I said, this started out way too light, so as the video goes along, you'll see it getting darker and darker. The lighting changed a little bit, but you can also see how you can see how dark the paint got. You can see how those simple tissue paper and, and liquid latex wounds can really uh, really have a great effect once you get some good paint on them. So here I am just putting in some final blood. And then here's the final look. Added some actual olive oil to my hair and onto the skin to give it that sheen. And then added in some white mesh contacts and that's your final look. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on this look, leave them in the comments below. And I'll catch you on the next one.